Good afternoon. Today is 27 July, the year 2016. I'm Dr. Dave Thompson, a volunteer at the Palm Springs Air Museum here in Palm Springs, California. As part of the Veterans History Project of the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C., we conduct interviews of veterans and civilians who participated in our country's military conflicts. Today, I'm here at the museum along with fellow volunteer Colonel Harry Ziegler and Michelle Hughes and special guest Olivia Valvidia. And today we have the honor and the privilege of hearing the story of Katie Hosworth and Helen Godshock. Uh, they both were uh, Jewish girls uh, growing up in Germany prior to the outbreak of World War II. Uh, they left uh, in 1938 and came to New York City. And so we're going to talk to them about that and a lot of other things. Ladies, Kate and Helen, really good to have you here. Thanks for being here. I'm going to start <clears throat> left to right. So Kate, if you would give us your full name and spell it. Okay. Katie Houseworth, K-A-T-E-H-A-U-S-W-I-R-T-H. And when were you born? March 24th, 1922. In what city? In Raubach, Germany. And Helen, if you would repeat that same thing. Helen Gottschalk. You want to spell Helen, it? Helen, please. H-E-L-E-N-G-O-T-T-S-C-H-A-L-K. And you were born? Germany, Rauba. Rauba. And what year? 1928. Um, some of these things probably can be answered by both of you the same. So don't get in a fight. <laughs> um, can you tell me your father's name? His name was Leopold Loeb, L-O-E-B. And, and same father? Yes. And uh, your mother's name? Hedrick Jonas Loeb. Her maiden name was Jonas, J-O-N-A-S. And both of you were raised as Jewish girls. Yes. And in your town where you grew up or area, were there a lot of Jews or a no, few? No, just two Jewish families. Two, and that was your family was one of them. Right. And so are there other siblings in your family besides Helen? No. Just the two just girls. Right. Now, can you give us a little history of your father on what his family, how far back it goes? on your father's side? Uh, how far back? Well, he was born 18... It's okay to answer. 1894. And where was he born? Was he born in Hunzo? I think he was born in... Uh, I'm not sure whether he was born in Raubach or he was born in... in, in R H A U N E N Hunsrück, Germany. Now, it's we've it's talked about it's this in the car a little bit. The location of the area where you grew up in relation to all of Germany, where would that have been? Can you remember that? Whether you were north, south, east, where in, Ger where in, the, in, in the country of Germany? Was your city located? You know, well, it was a very small town, and the closest large city was uh, Koblenz, K-O-B-L-E-N-Z. And do we have a feeling for where in Germany? Like, was it uh, north of Berlin or near Frankfurt or any of those? You know, something. No, uh, <laughs> never thought about it. Yeah. Can you remember what the country? What wasn't the, it closer to Cologne? Cologne, Cologne, yeah, not Cologne too far would from be Cologne. the big, the big place would be Cologne. Yeah, which was located where in Germany, Cologne. Oh, that's a famous city uh, where they had. Was it they south? Had massive, beautiful churches and stuff. And <coughs> oh, the, yeah, it had a, a Cologne dome. It's very uh, famous. Yeah. And as Jewish girls, where were you allowed? to participate in the Jewish religion. Was it different for a girl than a boy? Did well, we had to travel to go to Hebrew school. We had to get in the, in we the had train. To leave town. To, to get your... To, to get go, educated. 
to go to school? No, to get to get some Jewish education. So you like once a week. Okay, so mm -hmm. did you have schooling other than that once a week with the Jewish? Oh yeah, group? In, in the town itself. And was at those days was there any distinguishing characteristics between a Jew and a non-Jew? Well, not not. Not in the years. Uh, Not in the physical way, no. So the, you, there was no difference. No, Every, everyone got along, no, right. and you ran around with the. Yeah. Right. What would then been the, the predominant religion of the other kids? Uh, evangelist. And. Uh, Protestant. Was there an evangelist church in your town? Yes. And did they have their own school, the church? No. So it was a it was German public school. A German public school. Right. And uh, can you remember whether you took. Uh, they gave you, you, you whatever the curriculum was. That's what you got, or I'm did sorry? you did you have any selection in subjects? Oh no. So, <laughs> can you remember some of the subjects that you took? What? The <laughs> just reading and writing, and arithmetic, <laughs> just the normal things. Were, were there any music involved? Any? No. Any? Uh, not in my not in my mind. No, there was some some singing, and I participated in the uh, in the. Uh, Lutheran religion classes too. Okay, and can you remember any of your instructors? Oh yes. Which one do you remember? Not the good one. The good one. His name was Weber. W E B. Uh, Same one. No. no oh, wait, I wait. had I had Fisher. F I S H E R. And why do you remember your favorite? Because he was nice. Was a nice guy. Weber was a good guy. Yeah. And was he good looking? <laughs> I know when I was a baby, he used to sit, sit with me to go till I went to sleep. <laughs> and why do you remember? He your, was totally Nazi. He well, was what? A Nazi. And you liked him? Oh God, he was horrible. Oh. He, if you didn't do right, he hit you on your hands with a ruler. He threw me out of the class. He told everybody else to come an hour earlier to school and not me. I came late and I was thrown out. Oh, does it have anything to do with you being Jewish? Or oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so it was, oh, yeah. that was, he was a Nazi then? He was a total Nazi. Yeah. That's, well, and they sent me away to a different town then to go to school. Your parents? My parents. And so you went once a week on a train somewhere? Or? No, I lived with my cousins in this other town. Okay, in so you? Bon in Bun. So how old were you when this happened, Helen? Seven. Six, seven. And so you were, um, what, six years older? Yes. Uh -huh. And were you, were you aware of how bad her teacher was? And of course. Yeah, did yeah. you? I had him also for oh. Bob. Well, if you want to know this, he used to play cards with my father every day. Scott. It's a German game. Have you ever heard of it? No. It's S K A T, and he said to my father, "I'm going to go with the wind. If Hitler wins, I'm going to turn that way." And he became the and worst he, Nazi. Wow. Well, <laughs> well, he wasn't the only one. Well, the whole town was afraid of him. Uh huh. And when. How old were you when you started feeling this anti-Semitic feeling that was coming into Germany? I was in Was it in school primarily? Of course. Well, through him, yes. Through him. Yeah, and, and the rest of the town was they were afraid to, to talk to us. And how many kids roughly would have been in the school? Well, the, the thing is that it was two grades, the younger grade and then Weber had the older grades, mm -hmm. right? They were like old ages. It was but just a far, small town. Mm -hmm. But how far then could you go in that school? Just uh, grammar school. For grammar. For what, six, sixth grade or so? Six years or? I don't know if it was six or yeah. eight. Well, I didn't get that far. Okay. And your father, what did he do? We had a a butcher store, and a grocery store, and a, and a restaurant. And a resort. And he, he slaughtered his own beef. The, peop the hunters used to come and stay in season, and it was a beautiful country. 
Was it hilly? Yeah. There were mountains, or what was what was the terrain like for hunting? Lots of woods, right? Yeah, used to go very picky. <laughs> and so he would have what deer or boar? What would be the the game that? What would be the type of animal that would come into his butcher shop if it was wild? Oh, beef, uh, no. you know. Oh, just cows. Just yeah. to, oh, yeah. chickens. The hunters wouldn't bring their, their kills in to have Oh, no, cut. no, no. You know? They went for the wild stuff. Okay. The hunters. They didn't bring anything. They didn't bring it. They took it home. No. And, yeah. Okay. And did you girls work there then in some of the... I did. She did. <laughs> and what, what was your job? I worked in the grocery store. <laughs> what? I could what? hardly reach the, reach the counter, but uh, that's what I liked. I used to wait on the customers. <laughs> um, did you feel any animosity between the people that came into the store? Well, not in the, not not in the early days. Uh -huh. So did, did you play with the other kids in the neighborhood? I mean, go to their houses and they uh, come I'm to your sure, house? I'm sure. Yeah. Up to 1934, probably. And did they eat dinner with your family once in a while? Or you eat dinner with their families? Did you, you remember whether you always ate at home or whether occasionally you well, they would come to us. <laughs> because you had the meat, huh? <laughs> my, mother, my mother was a good cook. <laughs> did they say things like overnights? Did they have other girls and they'd stay overnight at church? No, did you do that kind of thing? So. And did your mother work in the butcher shop also, or did she, she uh, in the restaurant? She was in the kitchen, mostly uh, cooking and uh, so on. So, roughly how many employees would you have in the butcher shop? And, uh, um, one butcher, just one butcher, that's all. And then for the hotel, for the guests? There was one, we had Lisbeth. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one, so one that took care of us as kids. Yeah, right. And so did she take care of the, making the beds and the laundry yeah, yeah. for the hotel. How many rooms would you have? I don't remember. Okay, um, less than 100? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It was, it was a small town. I, actually, I should have taken pictures. I have pictures of the house, you know, hanging on the wall. Oh, in your house? Yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, when it came to um, playing with the kids, at what point did you start noticing they might have been treating you different? I, I would say in 1934. And what made it, was that the year Hitler? Well, he came into power in 1933. And was he chancellor then, or did the chancellor died, didn't he? And then Hitler took over. He what? Didn't Hitler? When did Hitler become? Uh, 1933. And was that an election, or was it because of um, a, de a death? I of think the economy was pretty bad, and so he was supposed to be the, the savior. He wasn't even German, he was Austrian. You mentioned something about the economy. Um, some of your family served in World War I, right? right. Who was that? My father. My father. And... Um, I have a picture of him. In his uniform? Mm -hmm. Was he in his uniform or just... Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. And did he, did he talk much about the war at all, World War I? No, nothing. No, no, no. He was easygoing. going. No. Just. And. Just that he escaped to the Russian prison twice. So he was captured? Uh -huh. Or was, it, was this after. Uh, it was about 1919 or. So how did he get with the Russians in World War? I, I thought it was France, Katie. Hmm? I thought he was in a French prison camp. Really? Maybe, maybe it was a French prison and camp. It's his medal that... that right, he was, he was shot, yeah. Where yeah. well, he hit the medal and saved his life? Right. Okay, well, um, one of the things that stuck in my mind about it, when World War I was over was um, what happened to the German mark, the money. It was the deflation. And from what I understood about it, and you tell me if I'm on track, was that um, the people running the country weren't very good at business. I think so, because I know that I used to play, was like play money. Well, that, that was going to be where I was headed because yeah, right. <laughs> um, they said that they borrowed money from America. 
I, I don't really don't know. I guess I was too young to, to know or to care, you know? Well, what happened, though, is we went into a depression around 1930, 31, 32, and we asked Germany to give the money back. <laughs> Did they? No, they couldn't. Nobody gave it back anything. And they had, they had printing presses, 300 of them, running 24 hours a day, seven days a week, printing money. Uh -huh. And that's what you played with, I think. Probably. Was those blocks of money. Yeah, right. Where they said they paid the German workers twice a day because the money a value would change uh -huh. so fast right. that they wanted to get I know the, they had a box full of play money. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I saw pictures of kids using oh, yeah. playing blocks with them, you know, and right. making mountains out of them. I think that everyone was sick up there. <laughs> well, they said you would, you would take a wheelbarrow to go get a loaf of bread full of paper. It was that, it yeah. was so devaluated and, and the money. No, I don't know what it was. Well, what happened, as I understand it then, is that Germany, um, that helped Hitler become chancellor. Of course, because... That, because he promised to get right, right, Germany, to get, him out of, get him out of that. Absolutely. And uh, yeah. that was something that helped right. him right. because no one else was saying what Absolutely. he said. Right, right, right. Kaiser didn't. <laughs> well, one of the... Yeah, when it was with Kaiser Wilhelm, was he? Yeah, uh, yeah, uh -huh. I think so. yeah. Someone died that allowed Hitler to become. Was it Hindenburg? I don't remember. Maybe it was Hind whether it was Hindenburg or. or what, what prompted your father to then start thinking about getting his family out of Germany? What started well, that? Because it was things were getting bad. I mean, they were. I had, to, I had to leave home. Were you Were you there when Hitler came out? Where you couldn't be a school teacher, you couldn't hold civil service jobs, you couldn't as a Jew. Of course. Were, were you there when all that was going on? Oh sure, sure. And so, was your dad able to keep his job? Well, and, he and, worked for himself. But I mean, they didn't take his. Oh, they took, the, oh, they confiscated everything. everything. You weren't there when Kristallnacht happened, were you? Um, I got out just before. And were you there for no. Kristallnacht? You were already gone? No, Pop, Opa was there, my grandfather was there. He came, got out though. And how about your dad, did he get out too? Yeah, I came with him. You left with your dad and who did I left you? with my mother. And so, mm -hmm. you left first? Yes, in May, May, I came here May 21st, 1938. And where? And my mother and I came like a half a year later. But six months. Did you go directly to America or did you have to go to another country first? No, no. I came directly to New York. And the passport that you had here, is that the passport you used uh -huh. to get to America? Right, right. Do you remember where you landed in America? In New York. You came in on, and what ship? Do you remember the ship? Uh, SS Roosevelt. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hard to remember. Wouldn't I it? was. Um, we came for, left from Holland and, uh, on the New Amsterdam. Yeah, that would not be too hard to remember either, was it? <laughs> now, to get from Germany, then, was it hard to do, or was it, was it kind of you just got on the train and? Oh no, we had we examined. We had to go for physicals and everything. With, with it coming into the country or? Yeah, to leave to the American consulate. Oh, you went to the, and so you, you got uh, uh, something that allowed you right. to come to America. Right, right. Well, and we had relatives here. They sent for my sister and father first. They, I, they didn't include us, so then when they, my father came, then he got us. Uh, and as the only one of the two Jewish families there. What happened to the other Jewish family, do you know? They had no children, I know that. Uh, they went, to, didn't they, they go to South America? I think so, they went to Argentina. South America. Yeah. Um, I understood from my military experience that the Germans, if you were over 65 and had fought in World War I, that they treated you different. You had privileges that other Jews wouldn't have had, but the fact that you fought for 
no. Germany no. gave you a little more. No. They no. took everything. They no. took the whole business, everything. They took everything away. Uh, and land and the business, yeah, everything. everything. They took it. They just Two took houses. It. And did, what did you feel as young girls leaving your house, your country, and putting your back to their, everything you'd grown up we, with? We moved for a few months to Cologne to get out of the small town. We had to get a leave. We had to leave the town. Mm -hmm. We had no place to live there yeah, anymore. Right. So they took everything while you were... Right. And, and this was before Christian huh? Or after? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure when Chris, I think my husband was there during Christmas. Because that's when they took everything and started the concentration, moving people yeah. to concentration camps. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, right. We were gone by then. Yeah. You were gone by that yeah. time. Uh -huh. I think that was 33 or 34, somewhere in there. No, no, it was later. Later? Okay. It was later. Well, what might have happened in the big cities was different from what the small town. Sure. Well, apparently, as Germany took over parts of other countries, oh, sure. that was where they first started. I think Poland came first, right? That was one of them. That Austria was, also. You yeah. know, Austria, but any little country around that they started taking space from is where they started moving the Jews into camps. Yeah before they started on Germany. Get to the Poland at the ghettos. Mm -hmm. In Poland they had the ghettos. Yeah. yeah. And when you got to America, you didn't speak English. But not a word. A few, <laughs> few words. We had a pretty sizable German population at one time in that in, in the in 30s. The, in New York but, City. But not, not Jewish. Um, I'm not sure whether... They were, they, they were in Yorkville. And we were in Washington Heights. Everybody seemed to go, gather in one neighborhood, you know. In, 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 in New, New York. York? This is all New York. Yeah. So the Jews had their, their neighborhood. Yes, yeah, the refugees moved to uh, Washington Heights. Um, apparently, like England and some of the countries, they paid to get a lot of the poor people to America to get them because they couldn't feed them or do anything. So they, they helped them get to America. But your dad paid everything. Yeah. And to your chip and everything. You, right, right, right. And so he was able to get some money then out of the... Out well, we came with 10 marks. 10 marks. Each yeah. one was allowed he, 10 marks. He started out as a busboy. What would 10 marks have been? In, less than $10. Less than $10. <laughs> okay. And how, what happened to you, Helen, when you... I just... We she went was, to live with cousins in was, the Bronx. She was too young. And I went to... <laughs> they sent me to school. Would you have communications then between each other? I think somehow. Yeah. I was in Staten Island. So. She was with different relatives. But, I mean... Did you well, have, but we got together. Did the families... <laughs> were the families... Uh, close at all, the two families? Oh, it, what do you mean? Oh, I don't understand. Um, you were with the Saraskis? I was with Helen Hirsch. Oh. Did they know, did the families know each other? Oh, sure. they were all the relatives, relatives. all so cousins. You were with cousins? All and, cousins. Okay, okay. And um, are you meeting German boys now and, and uh, having some kind of a social life? Actually, I, I did marry a, Jew, a German boy, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and how old did that happen, how? About 21, 22, I think I was when I married. Well, yeah. yeah. oh, that, that gave you what, about 10 years in America or 11? Oh, more than that. More than that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was nine when I came. Oh, okay. Okay. So you were speaking English pretty good by oh, then. Oh, yeah. I, I lived with two cousins, two boys that and we played together, and I had a lot, I think in two weeks I knew what they were saying. <laughs> okay, and what, what kind of school were you girls going to then? We used to have, have a school yeah. in America. Well, I went to a school in, the, uh, well, it was St. Peter's School in Southern Ireland. Was it a public school? Yes. And um, 
That was a high school and I had a hard time. Yeah, and I was going to say, you didn't speak English. <laughs> I had a hard time. Did you I, have that same problem? Uh, well, I had a wonderful teacher in the Bronx that would keep me after school and sit with me and help me. I was put into first grade as a nine-year-old, but, <laughs> but as soon as I learned the language, you know, I went up. <laughs> And then when we moved to Washington Heights, we were all in the same boat. <laughs> I've always kidded as a Marina that, that uh, the happiest day of my life was after leaving the first grade after three years. <laughs> <laughs> they should have put me in the first grade instead of high school. I would have done better. <laughs> no, seriously, I went and they put me right away into first grade. Well, they put me in high school. Well, they weren't used to the German and girls there. Well, how did you handle the... the you didn't understand English then, did you? I did well in arithmetic. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that was me being in the butcher shop. <laughs> but I mean, you learned to American dollar from the mark and, and uh, that type of uh, so, uh, that type of math. No, I mean, arithmetic is, you know, numbers are numbers. Were they? But I'm going to guess Germany was probably on the decimal system then, weren't they? Because you had to go into the English measures yeah, right, right, from, right, right, right. from the mark yeah. and, and right. uh, you know, decimal. Right. And it's been a long time. a bit of a conversion there. It's been a long time. <laughs> and, but you did okay. Yeah. And so you graduated from high school. You graduated from high school. No. No, I went to work. And I had to go to work when I was, uh, when I moved in with my, about 16, with my parents. At 16. And where, you, where were you? And where? I went to night school for, for well, a while. You said you moved in with your parents. Right. Well, who were you living with it before? Before, in Staten Island with a cousin. A cousin. Yeah. Okay. And where were your parents that you couldn't live with them? My mother was with me. It was just, they came later. Oh. That's right. Just you just came with your dad. Right, right. So where was he working? He was with Sarovskis. Hmm? He was with the Sarovskis. Yeah. yeah. With who? With yeah. different cousin. I'm just telling her the name. Yeah, yeah. But what did he do for a job? Now? <laughs> he started as a busboy. In in one of the restaurants, hotels. Yeah. Uh -huh. in New York. I think it was Hector's was Yeah, Hector's. Yeah. And. Um, was there any problem with food and making ends meet? Um, could you remember? Let's, let's well, no. When we got together, my mother um, rented a large apartment in Washington Heights, and she rented out rooms and, and cooked for for everybody. In her house. Got paid for that. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I'm just thinking about. Um, your your dad. I mean, was there a car in either of the families? Did people have cars? You mean in, in Germany? No, in, in America. Where, no, he no. never drove. No. He rode his bicycle so, and he took the subway. <laughs> and uh, that was the way you got to work. Right. And the same thing. Right. But I still have to, What was your? Where was your dad employed? You were in the in the uh, factory. When yeah, he 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 worked as a busboy. Restaurant. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. And then let me go back to you. I was in school. But your relatives were they working? Have have jobs and the people that you were staying with? I stayed. Yeah. Well, do you remember what they did? Helen Hirsch. What did Lou do? I don't even. I remember. think he had a haberdashery store. I don't remember. Um, did you feel any resentment as Jews in America? Did you no. feel? No. No. So no. it was? No, there was no, nothing. No, nothing. No. As a matter of fact, when I went to school in Staten Island, they treated me like a German, like a, a, a German Nazi. Some of the kids, oh, they no. didn't understand the difference. In between, <laughs> yeah. And how, when you say like a Nazi, did they, you know, <laughs> make you, make the Heil Hitler, <laughs> that type of thing? Yeah, yeah there were Nazis nice at first. So they understood, you know. When I was a kid in grade school, we pledged allegiance right. with our hand like this. Oh, yeah? And then Later they made us stop and put our hand over our arms. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so that, that part of 
uh, Germany got to it. <laughs> so, uh, was it the same way in your family, the subway? Uh, how'd you get to oh, work? Sure. Of course. And subway. what was your job in the factory? I don't remember what I was doing. <laughs> I was putting stuff together. It was in Brooklyn. <laughs> You know, as I mentioned, I went online, and to this day, that company yeah, exists. is still right. there. And in 33 or 34, they built a huge factory. Yeah. You know, big warehouse and right, factory. Right, 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 right. And they, they had a lot to do with things that went in the homes for lighting. Yeah. Yes, uh -huh. all it, kinds of plugs and things. Yeah. yeah, and people bought them for their homes. Right. Apparently, everyone in in, in New York and all over, yeah, needed these little. Had levels and all this, yeah. They needed these little things for their lights in the houses, uh -huh. and so the uh, guy made, made a lot of money. Um, you're starting to speak English then. Helen did okay. How about you? Yeah, well, I was living also with, uh, with two two boys, and they, they cousins had a dictionary in their hand, and they they made me <laughs> okay. made me understand. When. Um, <clears throat> With the American newspapers, and did you follow the war in Europe? What was going on? Did you keep track of that? I think it was more radio, wasn't there? Yeah, it was more it was radio. On the radio, radio. radio. And were you there uh, then on the radio when Hitler attacked Poland? Did you hear that on the radio? Oh, he used to hear his speeches. I remember that. Sure. I had it tuned in. Yeah. We could. Were you? Were you able? in the American newspapers to understand what was happening with Hitler in Europe and uh, what was going on with the Jews of in course. Europe. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. My mother's sister never been cut my knee, uh, my cousin never got out. And <clears throat> when were you realizing that some of your relatives were dying over there? I know my mother was always looking for her sister. For her sister? You never found her? Concentration camp. Yeah. And did you have any communications at all with people in Germany during the war? No, no. It was all gone. No. And so the only thing was the radio, basically. Right. And so it didn't sound too good for the first year or two with um, the Allies in Germany. Right. And it's bad. Did the, with, with the Jewish church, now, are you going to a Jewish church where you live in, in New York? Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. You've got a synagogue? Yes. Synagogue. Yes. Yeah. yes. Now, is there a difference between a woman going to a synagogue and a man? Well, the ultra-religious separate, but the Reformed or the uh, uh, conservative. conservative, they sit together. Yeah, so you say the, it's just the ultra, ultra, you know. Were they the ones with the black yeah. hair yeah, and yeah, coats? Yeah, they, and the, they sit, they're yeah. orthodox and, and they, they separate yeah. the women yeah, from the women. Yeah, they sit at the wailing wall. The Chabad, yeah. The, the, totally the Chabad, yeah. What do you call them? The Chabad. Okay, I'll yeah. take your word for that. <laughs> 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 um, did you feel like you were becoming more Jewish then by being able to go to a synagogue? Uh, I mean, I, I, I we was were never too, too religious, you know. But it, was, it was just tradition. How about your dad? Tradition. Was he? Was he more? My religious? mother was more than he. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Did you have the traditional Jewish food? No, we had more or less German food. German. Yeah. And so, did you have a favorite? Oh yeah. What was yours, Helen? Potato dumplings. <laughs> Yeah, how about you, Katie? I don't remember. You didn't have a favorite and you ate it all. <laughs> she didn't eat, I ate. <laughs> the uh, family now, were, as, were they getting more affluent? Were, they, was more, were a little more money coming in and things easing up or getting better? Well, I know they cleaned houses that they worked hard for their money. Yeah. And, and she, uh, well, and she rented the rooms out, yeah. And she uh, renting the rooms out, you know, and cooking for people, give them an income. It wasn't easy. Yeah, I, I understand that. It's what my grandmother did. She rented out rooms. Uh -huh. Yeah. And yeah. people ate in our basement. <laughs> they rented 
the room and she let him eat in the basement. Right, right, right. Yeah. You do everything you have to. You know, whatever you need to do, you do. That's right. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, how's your family, your mother and dad's health? Are they doing okay? Their health? My mm. father lived to be close to 104. Mm. My mother he was passed healthy. at 81. 81. Can you remember why she died? Is it? Just how? Oh. Her heart. And, uh, and my father was just old age. Mm -hmm. And where did the father, whose home was the father most associated with? You or Katie or? Well, I, she, she moved about to away too far. I was closer, I lived in New York, you know, in New York closer by. You know. Okay. Now, but he wouldn't live with either one of us at the age, no. <laughs> not, not with you and not with your sister. He was, he was a character. No, but he helped provide money to the families for your kids? They, they saved. They saved. They saved. Money. Very frugal. Now, you got married 22, you said? At, tw at the age of 22. Age of 22. Was 21. And where did you meet? Your husband to be in New York City. And how how did you meet? Well, Henry Jacobson, my co a cousin introduced us. It was it a social event? Or? Yeah, yeah. We in a group we used to go just go places. Was he Jewish? Yes. And was that important in your family that he be Jewish? I think so. I really there was no discussion about. Was he a conservative it. Jew or? No, he was just he sat with just the, normal. He sat with the normal group. Conservative. Yeah. Conservative. Is it Hasidic? Is it a, the word Hasidic? Is that the? That's the. Uh, that those are the Orthodox. Yeah, yeah, those are the Orthodox, right, the Hasidic. Right, right, right. And Katie, you're a little older. Are you? Are you getting interested in a man at this point? Have you found a boyfriend? Oh, well, <laughs> she used to make fun of me going out with kids. With well, she's not if you're interested in a man now. Oh, no? No. No, I mean while you're at your, while you're working in the factory. Oh, oh yeah. And, and I met the announcement in a, in a club called Prospect Club. It was a German Jewish club. And it was a social club. Okay. When I was uh, 17. Okay. Well, that was within a year or so after you got to America. Right, right. So, <clears throat> You got associated very quickly. Yeah, right. right. What, what, what kind of club was it? Did they dance and have, yeah, yeah, it was was, was a it American club. music? Yeah, sure. And would they have something to drink there? I don't remember. I don't think so. I don't think there was liquor. No. Um, you would have been too young. Yeah, right. So you got married right away. No, at twenty-one. Okay, so um, I was going up with him, and then. I broke off and I went up with others and then went back again to him. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, where did you go after you got married? Where did you live? Uh, in New York. I mean, in your own place? Yes. Could he afford then? Would he have a little money that he could... Well, he was working as a furrier. Oh, okay. And, uh, what was I doing? I don't remember what I was doing. You? <laughs> I guess I was still working in the, in the, uh, the factory. And Helen, how about you? What, uh, well, what when I graduated high school, I went into the dressmaking business. Not for myself, I worked for dressmakers. And so did you... That's what... I, did you I, do the measuring and... The, the sample dress, making. You made the dress yeah. from scratch? From, from... I worked with a pattern uh, maker. Okay. And then, it so, was in the wholesale line, not, not retail. Looks like Katie was the lush in the family. <laughs> that was what? The lush in the family. <laughs> <laughs> in Germany. <laughs> Didn't harm me any. <laughs> um, did you get pregnant very quick? How, no, how long? no. I had my first child when I was 25. And the second one, 28. So what was the first child? What, what, sex, boy, girl? No, but they're both boys. Both boys? Yeah. And how Both was, girls. Both? <laughs> <laughs> you see what a change in the weather does in Germany. <laughs> now, uh, you're living 
in a home of your own? Yes. And you're living in a home of your own? Right. And so how long do you stay in these two homes? Where do you? I've lived in my house since 81. No, in, in, in Palm Springs. No, I mean in Europe, in Germany, in oh. New York, where you got... Oh, in New York? No, we were in an apartment first. You went in an apartment. And uh, how long did you stay there and, and where, where were the kids going to school? The kids went to, they were born in California. Oh, okay. They went to school. So at, at some point then you moved out of New York. Right. And what caused you to come to California? My sister. <laughs> She went first. I'm doing this backwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we came here in 1954 to um, to take a franchise called Rayco, R A Y C O, and we, we had to borrow money from my my parents and from my husband's parents just to, to start the business. And how did you get prompted to leave? New York and come to California. Well, well that, that's where the franchise was. But what, why, why did you, how did you get involved with this franchise? I guess uh, the fur business uh, wasn't what, what it used to be, so we tried something else. Now, did your husband ever own the fur business or was he always? Yeah, well, yeah. Um, See, in 19, we got married in 1944. In 1945, we opened a little, little store on Broadway. And we had most of the merchandise on consignment. And, you know, we'd go back and we sold something, we paid for it, and then he would remount coats. Could he make coats and remodel coats. And he could fix coats that need were damaged and, right, and do right, that type right. of thing. Right, yeah. You mentioned 1945. Mm -hmm. Helen, had you already left by 45 for California? I left in 55. 55, so you were still there. Mm -hmm. Did you ever go to their store? Oh, yeah. yeah. And what did you think when you were there? Did you ever get a coat there? It was very nice. Yeah, <laughs> I had a fur jacket. You still have it? I don't know. <laughs> I had a Mutan. I had a Mutan coat. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a. I still have some stuff. I don't know what to do with. <laughs> World War Two ended in '45, and so were you able to start any kind of communication with family in Germany? No, what there was no family left. But how did you know that? There's nobody there. Not there. How did you know that there were no family members? My mother tried to trace. Uh, two different organizations and nothing. Yeah, were they in New York, these organizations? Mm -hmm. Hyas, wasn't it? Hyas? Yeah. yeah. And so you could go in with the names of cousins and yeah, uncles and, and aunts and those kind of, and they never found any of them. Not one of them survived. Well, them. yeah. One brother uh, immigrated to South Africa, my mother's brother, and one immigrated to uh, Israel. Was this uh, after the British let them go into Palestine? Yeah, it was Palestine into, at the time. Into right. Israel, rather? Right, right, right. So it was after 46 that, that he was able? Uh, no, he, he went in the 30s. Oh, in the 30s, way 30s. before. Okay. So did he go then to where Israel became a country? Is oh, that where he uh -huh. went? Uh -huh. How did he get through the British? <laughs> I really don't know. Oh, wait a minute, they weren't even there then. Yeah. No, they weren't there then. That was a different, different life. Um, so, how did how did you come on this franchise? What prompted that? Where, what, what what did you do that made you interested? Uh, there was a friend that had a franchise in New Orleans, or you know, in St. Louis, and so my husband was interested in it. And actually, we were supposed to be partners with with our husband, but the uh, the company wouldn't allow any partnerships, so so we did it on our own in Studio City. And in California. 
What did the company do? What, what did they manufacture? Produce? They manufactured uh, seat covers. Okay, on, on and, convert, the and convertible tops. Okay, and was this for used cars? That we got yes, come in yes, 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 yes. And yes. replacements. Where I can remember after the war, a lot of cars put these clear plastic. Yeah, we did that too. You did the clear. Ah, they were so hot. <laughs> oh yeah, but that was the thing. It was a clear, clear plastic. They turned brown after a while. Yeah. <laughs> And you made those, and so was it a good? We installed business? them. Okay. The factory made us buy them. <laughs> That's how I got the seat covers to my first car, was a Model A, and I went really? to Sears and watched them change those seat covers, <laughs> and I found they threw some away that I thought. I think worked. Worked. Fred worked for Sears. My husband worked for Sears doing that. That seat covers. Mm -hmm. And and, uh, and what, where did you end up? In what country? In what city? Right? Uh, that was in Encino. We lived in Encino, and he went to what's the Sears store? Was it North Hollywood or mm -hmm. I don't remember I something so. like that. And where was where was your in, where was your company located then? Uh, in Studio City first. In where? Studio City. Sue you? Studio City. Studio, studio. In, in, in the valley. Okay. And uh, was it a good business? I mean, did a lot of. Yeah, it was stressful. We worked uh, seven days a week in the beginning. Were the kids part of it? They were too They were little. They my, my mother took care of them. Oh, okay. So your mother came with you? She followed. Huh? She, she followed us. Uh, out later. And she took care of the kids and I was able to work along. What was your, would you work in the office and do the... Yeah, you yeah. Said and, you and, and selling too. Okay, you did the math, you said. <laughs> she and, was and the brains <laughs> and, and, and the selling. Um, where's your father then? If your mother's in California, where's he? He came with her. Oh, yeah. they came together. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Okay. So, um, you've got your family back together again, and are you still able to communicate? And with visit? Who? with whom? With your sister. You're both in California now, right? Yeah. 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 So you were able to see each other. Oh sure, oh, sure. And how about the kids? Uh, where? Oh yeah, they they got together. <laughs> and uh, are they are you still totally going to Jewish schools and events with the kids? Or are they old enough to go to school now? My daughters. Yeah. Where are they age-wise? When, when what year are you talking about? Well, we got through forty-five. And then my my daughter was born in fifty five and the other one in fifty eight. Okay, so that was pretty late. Yeah, and mine were born in forty seven and fifty. So, how long did you have that business in? In Studio City. Yeah. We then moved over to to Van Nuys. Uh, That's okay. <laughs> Pick a number. <laughs> uh, well, you we went and bought Markel's after that. After you yeah, we went seriously. independent after a while. Oh, Be of Goodrich bought the company. Ah. And they added tires and it, was <laughs> it just went down. So we, we sold out. And then what did you do? What kind and of then we went for an independent dealer on La Cienica Boulevard. Same thing with convertible tops? And uh huh. But on a much smaller scale. But you're now on a, your own business, not right. franchise anymore. Right. No more franchise. Okay. And uh, are your kids old enough? They're going to school now? Are oh, you, yeah. Oh, sure. Do they go to a, a, a Jewish uh, no. school? or no, no. no. So they're public schools? Right. And But you're still going to a synagogue, keeping the religion? Yeah. And. Um, did you speak any German at all in the family? My mother, they, they spoke a little, uh, especially my older one, and uh, so when he went to high school, he, he took German, he thought, thought it would be easy, but he didn't realize the grammar was so hard. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
So, could he speak a little German? Yeah, they, they still understand, yeah. yeah. You know, like, das ist gut. Not my girls. <laughs> Gotten <in> Hebel? <laughs> yeah, well, my mother was with them more. <laughs> oh, okay. But that would have, that happened a lot, though, where the parents didn't speak enough of the language. I think we spoke German, but we didn't want them to understand something. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like, I'm going to beat the tar out of you in a minute. <laughs> Um, where are your children now, Katie? Well, right now, uh, my son is in Cape Cod, and my other son lived in West LA, but he decided to go to Bali, mm -hmm. which I'm not happy about. So does he live full time there? No, part time. And but he's building a house and he's building a. a a yoga studio and so on. So we'll see what happens. Okay. How long has he been in Bali? Oh, he left about four months ago. He's coming back in September, early September now. And you said Cape Cod? Hmm? The other boy? The younger one. Okay. Where is he? He's in, you said Cape Cod? Massachusetts. The older one is in Cape Cod. And what does he, he... He comes here. No, he's retired. He's 68. And uh, what was what had he done before? Uh, well, well, first he was a chef for many years. Very he went to chef school in Aspen, and then uh, he did real estate. Okay. Helen, how about? What do you want to know? <laughs> your kids. And the younger you? one uh, took over our business. He he got caught up in a in a cult. In his early, right after college. In, what San, kind? in Santa Barbara. When you say, what kind of cult? Can you? Well, was it, you know, the cult where they brainwash you. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he uh, spent seven years there. And then we had him deprogrammed. And uh, uh, then he took over, over our business. And he's still doing that now? No. No, okay. Is he retired too? No. Okay. He's 66. Okay. Hard to believe. You know, I, yeah. I guess all my kids are in their late fifties. <laughs> where to go? You know. You're still young. Yeah. Uh, so let's. Your family. Joanne is uh, my younger one. Is an accountant. And she, where does she work? She more or less works. Well, she goes to different clients, but mostly at home, through the house. At, at her house, yeah. So does. And Rhonda works here in. Palm Springs for Harley Davidson. Oh, okay. Now, the girl that's the accountant, is she a CPA? Yeah. Or she, yeah okay. So she she could have a pretty good business then. Yeah, she's she's very busy. She's yeah. too busy. She well, that's part of the problem, yeah. Yeah, it's just, sometimes it's too much. Oh, having, uh, being around Harley Davidson is a pretty... Well, Harley Davidson, yeah. Well, she's ready to retire <laughs> next year. Say, <laughs> the people I know that own dealerships have done very well with that. With that business, well, well, she works there. She doesn't own it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it, it's a solid job because they. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. She she buys the uh, uh, merchandise. Merchandise and and, and and sells. Not the not the bikes. Yeah, sure, I know. Yeah. And so, I know a little bit about your children, Katie, just from having met a couple of them. Uh, do they? Have a time of year where they collect and come together, or uh, it's different this day and night. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, it's not an easy trip from Bali. You don't well, get on a train yeah, and come but, here. But he's just going to stay here for a while now. Okay, so does so someone take care of his business in Bali? You know, the the yoga and all that, or or is he it? <laughs> I don't quite understand. The guy that he bought the property from is, I think, going to run it. I so he's, he's, he's putting, he's put, finished building it because he put every last penny he had into it. Okay. Would it ever be something other than what he wanted? I mean, is it a building that could be used for something else? No, the, the building, the yoga studio and the restaurant, oh, okay. he'll probably do well once it's okay. established. Good. Um, There's an American school right there, near there. 
Well, from what I read, Bali is very big with Australians. That's what? The Australians like Bali. Yes, they come, they come a lot, yeah. It's a big recreational area for right, them. Right, right, right. Yeah. Our uh, family, my daughter took care of it. They had twin daughters, and one of them was in that restaurant that burnt down in Bali. And had a couple hundred people died in that yeah, fire. Yeah, I remember. That was, that was that one of their twin yeah. daughters died in yeah. And uh, Terrible. It's a, a Muslim country. Has that caused any problems? Well, but he says where he is, they're mostly Hindu. Oh, okay. That's nice. Yeah. Hindus are... Not the ones that are building the buildings. Uh -huh. They just came back from a, what they call that... Uh, the holiday... Ram Ramadan? Yeah, something yeah, like that. Ramadan, yeah. 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 Went back to Saudi Arabia, maybe for the. Yeah, for the I think I have some pictures for it. And on my phone, don't I? Can you remember between you two some of the, some of the, maybe the arguments you might have had? Or oh yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, she was a brat, <laughs> but, and she was bossy. <laughs> but, but she, 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 and she's still bossy. <laughs> she she knew that I was afraid of mice. <laughs> So she, oh, come on, Katie. She, she had a dead mouse and she dangled it in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Helen, you wouldn't possibly have done that, would you? <laughs> did you ever? My grandfather helped. <laughs> did you ever? Oh, I gave it to me. Really? Oh, sure. Could you remember your favorite toys that you had as a kid? Not really. No. How about you? Did you have a favorite doll or anything no. that, you know? No. no. Were you able to salvage anything from your original life in Germany? Um, somehow, my, my mother got a lift out through Holland somehow. Yeah. And we have some, I still have a grandfather's clock. And, uh, and I have the round table now, the yeah. check the game table. Right, right, so, several things. So you have yeah. some memories yeah, then? Little, little, Max. Has there any been any interest to go back and see where you grew up? Well, my husband was stationed in Germany. Oh, okay. What would serve? The Korean War. What service was he in? What he service? Was, oh, uh, the army. Okay. He was in uh, what do you call it? The, with the automobile. Uh, where he he took, drove a jeep to different areas, delivered mm -hmm. papers and things. In like Germany. That. In Germany, yeah, yeah. Were you anywhere near? Uh, I, I, I joined him there for you, a while. You drove there to the town? Uh, we went to his hometown. My mother said to me that I should not go back to my hometown. She yeah. was afraid of... They would do something to And her. I listened to her. I never went back. Oh, no. I went back once. You did? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, did you make it a special trip? Well, I didn't want to go, but my husband took the... We were in Germany in his hometown. And he just drove into into my town. <laughs> did you did you have any memories of? Could you? Yes, yeah, so, sort of, but it, it grew quite a bit. <laughs> could you find your old old area? In uh, yes, but I heard later on they demolished it. So didn't they make it into a park or something? Yeah. Did you say? Mm -hmm. um, I think there's still a lot of anti-Semitism. Anti-Semitism in Germany, Probably. all over here too. Yeah, you're right here. Of course, I think in the uh, in the Midwest maybe. It's funny. I I get asked occasionally if I'm German because my last name is Ziegler, but uh, I That's don't. That's right. Your name is Ziegler. It's, it's, it sounds like a German name. Well, I can remember in World War Two. There was a movie, and there was a shop in Berlin it said Ziegler Flowers on it. And I've never forgotten that. But my daughter took a saliva test on us oh, and we're Swedish and Irish. Oh yeah, yeah, she's that that's right, right. And yeah. I just couldn't see Mc Ziegler. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a, didn't, you didn't think it's work, not accurate. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they they call you Ziggy, right? Yeah. <laughs> but see my wife's maiden name is Ziggler. Oh, so she's Ziggler Ziggler. <laughs> Same spelling and Unusual, yeah. Yeah. Now um, tell me a little bit more about how two you two got along. No, I mean, it had along. to be more than we just a, along, just a okay. mouse, you know. <laughs> yeah. This is this was kid stuff. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. I didn't like to do housework. Oh. And my mother always wanted to give me a broom. <laughs> she, she said nobody ever taught her. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember that. <laughs> what do you remember the most about your mother and dad? Can you remember the kind of memories? She was a great cook and a good woman. Yeah. I mean, very good. Was I mean she was into very much into family. And was there anyone in the family that was musically inclined that played a not not us, I'm afraid. <laughs> nothing. Not in my no. husband's family, but not not in my Well, all your kids are still alive, right? Yes. And to know other than the boy that was programmed, reprogrammed, he had a little problem. Yeah. But he's okay now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if there's no other memories you want to throw into this now, this this is your DVD. So if you have anything oh, else you want to, that was all recorded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything you said. Oh, you can just sh show Dennis when he Olivia, comes. Olivia, you got some things you want to add to this? You've been around these people what 13 years or so? No, not that long. Not that long. Come on up here if you want to. Okay. Well, my okay. husband had dementia. Hey, Maui? Yeah. Where, where does he live? He's has, has, has it or has it? He, has, he has, 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 has passed away in October 6, 19, uh, 2014. Okay, well, that's pretty recent then. Yeah. And where was he living? Well, he was at home and then we got violent because he wanted to drive the car. Mm -hmm. So he was uh, for a while in uh, at the Mirage Inn. But he was right here where we where you live now? Okay, well I did. I, that's funny. I, I may have he seen him. He used to walk a lot. Yeah, I may have met him or talked to him. He used to walk a lot, yeah. Yeah, because I... I take you over to the house and, and show you some pictures. Because um, I, I walk my dog you know, every day almost for 13 years uh -huh. around there. And yeah, he used to walk every morning. In fact, I always used to wonder what kind of car was in your garage because... It was a Lexus, was but it? But I, most of the time, there used to be a car parked in the driveway a lot. Yeah, and he used to park his car in the driveway a lot. But... Uh, it was a 2004 Lexus. Now, are you, your family totally retired or... Is your husband still alive? No, He's he passed away 13 years ago. 13 years ago. And the you two able to get together once in a while? Oh, sure. Good. Sure. Well, I am just delighted that we were able to round you up, Helen, because <laughs> I, we, I didn't know anything about you until two days That's ago. That's just fine. <laughs> yeah. And if you, if you got anything else you want to add, you please do, you. Helen or Katie. We were married 70 years. Seventy years. Uh -huh. Okay. So that's why I have to have somebody in the house. I can't stay by myself. Oh yeah, seventy years. That's a long time. So how long have you been married? Before you died. How long was I married? Before oh. your husband died. Oh gee, in the fifties. Well, we had our, our golden anniversary that time. Yeah. So it was after that. About fifty-five, maybe. When, if you wanted to socialize as as Jews still, would you go to the Jewish center here? Uh, I'd go to the Mizell Center for a balancing class. And would you go to Mizell also? No, Jesus? it's too far away. Right? Too far. I mean, is there any attachment any longer to the Jewish? Oh, this has nothing to do with Jewish, the Mizell Center. It's um, just, it's a senior center. Oh, no, there's one over where we On live. Ramon. It's yeah, right on Ramon. It's yeah. fantastic. But isn't there a Mizell Center in the... No, there's a... Uh, uh, it's a different name. That's the one in the Palm, Palm Desert, Olivia? The senior center in the uh, Palm Desert. What is that? Uh, Jocelyn Center. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. But, but somehow, everything is ordered in the morning and I'm not in the horizon. <laughs> <laughs> I heard, I've heard about that. <laughs> 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 and I can't go pay on six. I wish I'd wake up in the evening. <laughs> they said if you want to lose your life, wake up Katie early. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't dare call. I'd wait for her to call. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would like to shake your hand, Helen you. and Katie. Likewise. And thank you so nice much. Nice to be neighbors. Yeah. yeah. Nice meeting you all. <laughs> yeah, it's it, uh, been interesting. Uh, 
um, Tammy was thrilled to come over and help you with this okay. and, and work it out. And but that's Helen's. No, that's yours. That, that's yours. Helen did a short one. I gave her. It did. I think mine is finished. Um, yeah, this is just yours. It's, it's done. Yeah, it's but, done. Oh, am I to still do something? No. No, Dave did most of that. And he's got a lot of it right here, too. Okay. The, the thing that uh, interests me the most. Yeah, I think you're ringing. Are you two going to dance? Is that what? <laughs> <laughs> the um, thing that always interests me the most was how important the Jews are to any economy. And how they're, they're very good at businesses and money. And Napoleon and countries that wanted to go to war had to borrow their money from Jewish banks, really? you know, because without the Jewish money. Yeah, but I think they resented that too. Oh yeah, but that, that's where the money was. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were in Russia, they were in France, they were in England. And, yeah. and uh, it, it's always interested me, because I've always admired them, particularly the Israelis. Now there's a difference yeah. in my well, mind. they have a lot of it with medical, they, they're so advanced in everything. They've and discovered everything. Every, I never, it, the, the Arabs do not want to say living there. In, in Israel. Mm -hmm. And um, have you ever had the interest to go to Israel? And, oh, we went. You we went? I visited twice. So. And when you visited, what was what did you come away with? Oh, the first time was just absolutely amazing. You know? What they made out of, uh, out of the desert. Desert. Oh. Just unbelievable. Well, I was there three times actually. I was there twice. A friend of mine had invested in a hydroponic farm in Mexico where they had the roots were bare and the water with the minerals dripped down the roots. And they had cantaloupe and peppers and all kinds of things. The whole system was automated by computer. It's from Israel. Yeah. And the family and was from so, Greece. They are so advanced. Yeah. I think they made out of salt water, they made regular water, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, they're, well, and they're, they're advanced in a lot of things that no one knows about. I remember yeah. when we went, yeah. at the uh, time we didn't have all the cell phones, but when we got there, Fred and I, everybody was talking about us walking around with a cell phone, and I didn't even know what they were. Did you get out to Messina by chance? Did you go that far away? Sir? To Messina? Did you get to Messina? Masada? 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 Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, yeah. yes. yes. And, and, and yeah. did that sea where you float on top? <laughs> yeah, I did that too. Salt water, you can't sink. <laughs> That's where Moses crossed with in the Dead Sea or something? Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Somewhere. Um, no, no, not the Dead Sea. If, if you think about Israel and uh, what they've accomplished, uh, what would hit you the most? What impressed you the most there? Just what, they, what they made out just, of just the desert. The, just who they are. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Too bad they can't live in peace. You know, when it came time to, for the first battle in '46 yeah. to uh, mm -hmm. stay yeah. alive, to survive as a country. Yeah. When all the Arab nations, right, yeah. and they're such a small country, and yeah. they're all surrounded by these big ones. The, uh, the people who flew their airplanes were all World War II American Jewish pilots. Yeah. They volunteered to go and fly for the Israel Air Force, I see. but they were all Jews, and they were all American Jews who fought I didn't know in that. World War II. I didn't know that. Four or five of them, and they rounded up some German airplanes. And that's what they flew against the Arabs and beat them. Yeah, yeah. They were, and they were all. And they're still trying to get rid of the Israel. Are you familiar with the stone they put on the on the funeral marker? If they, you've been a, a oh, picture, yeah. did you yeah. get into the cemeteries? And yeah, they, 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 the rocks. Yeah, it's it's the a flower, so you put a stone down. Yeah. Because uh, the movie Schindler's List. Yeah. Apparently they right. made him a like a hero of Israel right. for saving yeah. all, all those people. I really want to see that one again. It's been so long. Similar to yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a wonderful movie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
I've taken your hand, and if you don't want to well, add any more, you, no, you don't want to add any more story. <laughs>